Hello, this is Sean Vigas Openings here. Today, we're going to be reacting to Storybook. The first one is, I didn't feel safe at, at home or in school. So let's give a watch. I had a, an older sister and a younger brother. Every time my sister or my brother did activities and I wanted to join in, I was always either too old or too young because being a middle child can sometimes be like that. Although I loved my mom very much and I knew she cared about me, just at times I felt like she loved me a lot less than the other two. My parents divorced. My mother ended up meeting a new person who didn't like me, my brother, very much. If we didn't do what he wanted, he would hit us very hard. One time he hit me so hard that I got knocked out. He was like this for a few years. It got to the point where I had to actually end up calling the police on him. But the police believed him because apparently I'm a child and I was just doing childish and making excuses. It just sucks as a child sometimes when you're not believed because of your age. When I was in school, things weren't easy either. Because of what was going on at home, I had really low self-esteem and people would bully me for being scared and by myself. For an entire year, I had no friends at school. I used to sit by a tree by myself and eat my lunch. People would point and laugh at me and call me a loner and a loser. And I didn't know how to react to that. I just sat there and cried. So I didn't feel safe anywhere. When I went home, it was hell. When I went to school, it was hell. I felt like I had nothing, nothing whatsoever. After time, the thing with my stepdad, I saw him about to hit my brother. I stepped in the way and told him, no, you can't do that. Although this got me into an even more of a situation that I couldn't get out of. And he ended up hitting me really hard that day. But I'm just glad it wasn't my brother and it was me instead. He did apologize in the end for everything that he did, but shouldn't have happened. But still, it's an apology. Throughout my life, I'd just been kind of an outcast. Nobody really liked me. But I just kept trying, and I kept trying and pushing myself to be out there and be more confident. And to a point where somebody actually ended up approaching me and started talking to me. And this was the first proper friend I ever had. He introduced me to more people, and I ended up getting more and more friends and becoming, quote unquote, quotation mark, a popular kid. <laughs> and people actually started to like me, and I felt so much more confident about myself and happier. Things were starting to go well in my life stuff at home had been starting to get better been getting along better with my brother and my sister my mom had been treating me more evenly and exactly the same as the others i felt like i was part of the family again i just kept staying strong in the inside and i didn't let all this completely take me down although at times i felt so defenseless and worthless i was able to push myself to a point where i was able to get myself out there and be myself and where i am today is very confident i'm happy with myself and i'm happy with who i am Whoa, 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 whoa. This kid, this old man hits his kid. Oh, we got a little quiz here. But you and no one ever hits his keepers on. Yes, parents are in charge. What the? Only one percent. Ah, if I'm a species of watching, please do not flag my video. I was a flag all your videos. I'll, I'll put the camera and show you the next one. The next one is called I Lost My Bikini. Bathing Suit Fail. Let's see what the other is talking about. In sixth grade, I knew this girl. This girl and I, we weren't best friends, but we were kind of in the middle. So at the end of the year, she gives me this invitation to her birthday party. Of course, I'm excited. My mom, at the end of each year, she buys 17 new bathing suits, despite the fact that my ones from last year still fit me. So I go home and I say, hey, yo, mom, I'm going to this party. And she presented me with this new bathing suit. It was a bikini, but the thing I need to say about it is that at the sides of it, there are these, like, ties. And if you untie them, the bathing suit falls apart. So I went to the party and it was more than half guys and i have no problem with that most of my best friends are guys so like i'm having fun for most of the party and everyone decides to go on the diving board and i join in because i like diving boards so i get up there and then i dive when i go under i realize 
my bathing suit just came off. But I tried to just pull it back on, but it wouldn't come back on. The bathing suit had completely come undone. So I awkwardly slid to my friend, and I was like, yo, my bathing suit just came undone. <laughs> and she saw it, she's like, oh shoot. So she called all the girls over, and they all tried to help me. They covered me with a floaty and like stood in front of me. My friend, she told all the guys to go in the opposite corner of the pool so they couldn't see anything. And of course, the girl's mom was not there, so her dad had to help me. He just threw a towel into the pool and helped me out of it. So I awkwardly walked into the shed to like tie it back on me. <laughs> my towel flipped out of my hand. It didn't completely come off, just showed a little bit. All the guys are yelling. Oh god. So I just walked in the shed and cried. <laughs> I wasn't full on crying, just like, oh my god. I got it on and went back out and tried to enjoy myself for the rest of the party. I wanted just to go home. And in the end, I just said to my mom, I want to burn this bathing suit. And that's what I did. What kind of people? What kind of people? Bring a bikini to a pool party. Seriously, seriously, who would bring a bikini to a pool party? Absolutely, who? Okay. I'm going to end the video here. Comment, like, subscribe. If you want me to turn this into an entire series, I want at least five likes and turn it into a series. So, yeah. Bye.